along the bottom of your speed square, the hypotenuse, there are markings from zero to 90, and they represent angles. So when we have a board like this and we want to measure this angle, we can do that with our speed square. And that's a pretty common trick. A lot of people know that. But do you know the math behind it and what makes that possible? I'm going to explain that today. First, let's just quickly go over the trick or the, or the way you use the speed square to measure this angle. And then I'm going to explain the math behind it. Take your speed square. It's got a lip here. Place that lip on the board that you want to measure the angle that it's coming up from the ground at. There's a marking on here that says pivot. Make sure that that corner stays on the board. Then rotate it until it's level. I've got a little level here, torpedo level. Once it's level, look at these markings along here and read the angle that this board is coming up from the ground at. Be sure to read the angle here and not here. And it says 48 degrees. Likewise, you don't have to level this edge necessarily. You could level this edge with that level mark, 48. That's why you'll sometimes see people run a plumb line and then level up the edge of their speed square with the plumb line. Easy way to do that is just hook this over here. Keep that pivot on the board, line this edge up with the plumb line, and read your angle right here. So basically we measured this angle right here as 48 degrees by looking on our speed square and reading the number. So I just drew up a similar thing here. I measured a line, straight line here at 11 and a half inches. And then I used the tangent of 48 degrees with the opposite over the adjacent to arrive at the length of this leg of the triangle, which is 12.77 inches. Then once I knew the length of both legs, I just connected the lines of the hypotenuse. Then I had a 48 degree here. So if you take your speed square here and imagine putting it up here, just the way it is like here with that angled side coming down across here, set it on here, Put the pivot point right there, right on the top of the triangle. What would happen is that this line right here, which is which we've plumbed up to the plumb line, would exactly line up with this line. Top level line here would line up exactly with this line, which is exactly parallel to the ground that we were measuring the angle of this board from. And then what you have is two triangles. So basically, from the laws of trigonometry, we know that if we divide this rectangle right here with this hypotenuse line, and we know this angle to be 48 degrees, we know this one to be 90 degrees, then the sum of the angles in the, in the uh, triangle have to add up to 180, which makes this one 42 degrees. So 42 plus 48 is 90, plus 90 is 180. And then that's the same thing at this 90 degree angle here. If it's dissected and part of it's 48, the other part is going to be 42. And then we have the same math here, 42 plus 90 minus 180 gives us our 48 degree angle here. The speed square is really measuring this angle up here so that we can know what this angle down here is. We have our speed square triangle sitting up here, and we line this edge up exactly with this line, and the top edge up exactly with this line. Well, it's not the top edge, it's the inside top edge. Can't be this edge, it has to be this one down here. Line that up exactly on here, and we read our angle 48 degrees right there. So the way they machine these, is they take you know whatever tools they have, they place a line across here, 
and they say, what is this angle up here? So they place something on here probably that's like exactly 45 degrees in here. And they just mark that down here on the tool, 45. Do another one at 40 degrees, you know, etc. Another one at 15 degrees, another one at zero degrees, another one at 80, another one at 90, 90 degrees. Put all those markings from 90 down to zero along the bottom of this. And then once you get a level line here or a plumb line on this side, you can measure angles from the ground. Measure it up because you're measuring this angle and this angle up here is gonna match this angle. This angle up here matches this angle. That's the key to it. That's the simplicity of the speed square. It's pretty ingenious. Now you know how it works. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget to check out some of my other cool videos. They're listed right here. And click on that subscribe button. Thanks a lot.